right now let us start with the session so now here whenever we are using the serlet interface we need to providing the implementations of all the life cycle methods but providing the implementation of all the life cycle methods there is no use for the development side there is no use for the client side right unnecessarily increasing the burden on the developer side right in order to overcome that problem now we have to go for generic serlet generic serlet was implemented by the serlet interface now by using generic serlet which method you want we can overriding and we can write the ever code right but whenever we are in the generic serlet there is a small drawback there is no security of the data it is not possible to provide the security of the data now the data is going to be hidden now the data is going to be displayed on the address bar very clearly whenever you are in the generic serlet in order to overcome that problem now serlet technology was given to the one more class that is hdp serlet hdp serlet is an serlet by using that hdp serlet we can providing the security of the data okay security of the data but this is this is protocol dependent serlet protocol dependent serlet that means only it is supported by the http request only it is not supported other than http request right so now better to use in real time in real time http serlet while implementing the serlet technology what is the architecture of http serlet here now just observing servlet servlet this servlet was implemented by the generic servlet generic servlet generic servlet now this generic servlet was extended by the http servlet http servlet now while designing the our servlets our servlet we need to extends our class to http servlet HTTP servlet. So now, this is the implements this is extends this is also extends that means internally HTTP servlet was extended by the generic servlet only this is available to the javax dot servlet dot star package this is available to the javax dot servlet dot star package this is available to the javax dot servlet dot http dot star package right star package whenever we are implementing the business logic by using generic servlet now we can overriding what service method whenever we are using the http servlet we can overriding either service method or we can use do get method or we can use do post method do post method whenever we are in the do get and service method it is not possible to providing the security whereas whenever we are using the do post method we can provide the security security right this is what the protocol protocol dependent to servlet whenever we are extends our class to http servlet then we can say that this is the protocol dependent servlet dependent means it is supported by the only http request only right now based on this 
we will develop the one application practically right here. now first of all we need to create the here web application architecture so what is that web application architecture here just observing so now i am going to take compute app under that we can take the src the next web inf the next classes the next lib the next here we can take a number dot or numbers dot html numbers dot html the next here we can take java file what is that java file compute server dot java here we can take deployment descriptor file here we can take dot class file compute server dot class this is the web application architecture right now we can develop the web resources web resources now how to develop we will see here